Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Stacy, and this is the For Bricks and Giggles YouTube channel. For today's build, I have a castle set. Set 6090, the Royal Knights Castle from 1995. So stick around to the end to hear my review, and let's get started. Here we have the completed build. This set is right around 750 pieces and comes with 11 minifigures. And I got this set back in 2019 in one of the best LEGO deals I've ever gotten. It was listed at $135. It was for this castle as well as the Night Lord's Castle, which is the Fright Knight's Castle. So for the two of those sets, $135. $10 to ship it, and I bought it the second it was listed. Now that on its own is an unheard of deal, but when it came in the mail and I opened it, the Twisted Time Train, a small Dark Forest set, as well as another tiny Fright Night set were also in the lot. And there were also a few other miscellaneous Fright Night pieces that I'm not exactly sure what they went to. All of that for $145. Honestly, a dream come true. I had wanted this set for so long, and it's very expensive. And so I just happened upon the set when I refreshed the page. It was there at the top and I bought it instantly. The two sets were listed as complete. The Night Lord's Castle was complete. This set was missing one saddle but I didn't bother them to send it to me. I just ordered it on my own because they had already sent me the deal of a lifetime. And I'm so happy because I love this set. So I'll go ahead and show you the minifigures first. So this set does come with 11 minifigures, but there are several duplicates. First up, we have the king himself. Definitely one of the coolest castle minifigures I've ever seen. I love the feather plume inside the crown. You don't really see that. This fantastic cape. The head has a 
really unique printing. Love the red hair. And then a great torso on top of it. You do get a glow-in-the-dark ghost, and he has just a one-by-two brick for legs, which I think is kind of funny. You also get a classic skeleton, and I like this variation the most because the arms are totally movable in any direction you want. Then you get this really cool knight. Love the torso print for him as well, and that really iconic looking visor, and a fun feather plume. And this head has been used in a couple of different series. Another great knight. This particular torso pattern tends to fade. Anything with metallic gold or silver tends to fade over time. But luckily it's in really nice shape. Love the white feather plume for him too. And this is another one of my favorite helmets. Then you do get two of this minifigure, just a couple of classic knights, as well as two of this minifigure. Another great helmet, standard grin pattern head, and a great lion printed torso. And then finally you get two of this one. Absolutely love the scale mail pattern. While we're here, I'll go ahead and show you the horses as well. Love this one. Horse barding is always one of my favorite classic pieces. There are so many great patterns for this piece. I really miss this type of design. And then you get a brown horse, blue saddle, and a flag, and then a black horse, red saddle, and a white flag. So 11 great minifigures and three horses. As for the rest of this set, it's a super fun build. It comes on a one-of-a-kind, unique raised base plate, which of course I absolutely love. Now I did just want to mention that I did initially do this build when I started my channel, but that was probably two and a half years ago, and it was before I was reviewing them. I would just build it, and that was the extent of the video. I think the video was maybe seven minutes long at most because I was so scared of talking to the camera. So I would just intro it, build it, and then that was the whole video. So I'm excited to actually go in depth on this set because it is such a fantastic build. It has elements that remind me of King Leo's castle as well as the Royal King's castle, both of which I have reviewed on my channel already. But obviously this one predates both of them, so it's the original. And of the three, even though I was a child of the King Leo era, this one is my favorite. So starting on this end, I absolutely love this tower and the drawbridge at the end over here. It is movable with a string and a reel. So if you move the reel, it will lift the drawbridge. Great function. Love that in every set it's ever come in. But I do also like that the drawbridge is not at the front of the castle. I think that's a little bit different, a little more unique. I like that they separated that because you have just a little ramp that goes up the front of the base plate here. There is also a pin in the back that if you pull it, it will drop down a trap door. That little area in the top of the tower is the only place that I feel like they didn't do the best job on just because the throne looks very simple. This is the extent of the throne. I just feel like they could have made that a little more decorative. It just kind of looks thrown in there. But I do love a good movable piece, so I'm still happy they included that. There is also a trap door below here so that you can exit through these stairs. And then up top here is a launching function. So they give you little cylinders that you can load in what is actually a little pot. And then you can throw them. Super simple, but works so well. So I absolutely love that. Down in front, we have this little build. These doors open and there's a ghost inside. He does glow in the dark love glow-in-the-dark pieces and I just think that's such a cute little addition built out onto the front of the castle here. Absolutely obsessed with these gigantic brown doors. Once they're opened there is a gate here preventing people from coming inside. That is attached to a string so that you can lift it up and allow entrance as you see fit. The architectural design of this is also so beautiful. I like the mixture of the black and gray pieces, which makes up the majority of the parts in the set, with the blue accents and then the red and white flags. And you know me, I love a good fabric flag. So there are two beautiful fabric flags in this set. First we have this one, and then a much smaller one here in the back. Also really cute. 
I also like whatever this little animal design they did on the ends of this piece, as well as up here they're attached as well. It just adds another decorative element. And it's a super simple build, so you could easily replicate that if you wanted to make additional builds to go with this and make them look a little more cohesive. Then we have just a little bit more rounding out, filling out of this set with another smaller tower in the back corner. And here you can get a little more of the backside view. Not a ton going on back here. There is this little build with some arrows to protect the back of this fortress. And then they've built out the interior. There's not a whole lot going on down there. There is one little trap door that you can keep a skeleton underneath. So three pieces that move by string. And then just a ramp, which also opens. And if you can see the bars below there, you can keep, I guess, prisoners or something like that below as well. And we've got a little treasure chest hidden up top. So all in all, I love this set. I think the lion printing they have on all the shields and torsos and flags is absolutely beautiful. There is so much I would do to get another castle theme, especially one that was more classic like this one. It is unfortunate that this set is pretty expensive now. When I checked on Bricklink, it was going for, I'd say a minimum of $300, which is so crazy. The minifigures alone will run you a big chunk of that, as well as the base plate with all raised base plates. It can be hard to find one that's not cracked or has dented studs, especially one that is a rare one that only comes in one set. But if you can find someone who's selling it for a good deal, then I definitely recommend it. for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And if you're interested in extra content and videos, check out the membership program starting at only 99 cents a month. See you all next time!